As always, let's try something new again. Week two of the summer vlog series. This week held a lot of stuff. We did a lot of stuff this week. Here's a rundown for if you're interested and if you're not, thanks for bearing with me anyway. Monday, we went to the beach. Some friends had just bought a house down in Wildwood, New Jersey. They invited us down and it was really fun. Kids got to go boogie boarding. They got to build sand castles and just dig in the sand. Brody made this path that was like super, super long. He made like a game out of it and it had all kind of obstacles in it and stuff. And it was just kind of long and I can't believe he made something that took up that much beach real estate. The reason that we love the beach so much is that it is literally the only place that my kids don't ever say they're bored. They never ask to go on technology. They barely even say that they're hungry. They could sit on the beach for eight hours if I bring enough food and if I bring enough sunscreen and they're completely, completely happy there. It's also my wife's favorite place in the world to go. Eat this. my super tough gang down here. We're in Wildwood. What did you guys think of the day? It was good. Awesome. Family's yeah. on you. I don't everybody know that that really up. made sense, but good, and I three, two, one, go. Now we have to drive home, which means I need to get a little coffee before I drive home. It's like a two hour drive from here. Brody's gonna have a new YouTube channel coming out in, on August 1st. Yeah. It's a gamer so, channel. If you want to know it, it's not out now. Still me. Oh, it's out today. It's not. Oh, dang, they would, they would be wrong know. if they thought that, yeah. right? Yeah, it's not. Well, when is it out again? Christmas? No, August 1st. Yeah, August 1st. All right, so check it out. If you love games and wacky commentary, that means talking. I really look like an alien when I do this. You do look, we both look like aliens. Let's look like aliens together, look. I need to be in the dark. Tuesday, we continued with our lifelong theme of something from nothing, and we went to the battleship New Jersey. Our local library has passes for a lot of different like local attractions and museums and stuff. And so we try and take advantage of these as many, as much as we can. We're trying to do all of the attractions this summer. One of those is the Battleship New Jersey. The Battleship New Jersey was built in the early 1940s. It's the nation's most decorated battleship and it's over 888 feet long, right? Which is really, really big. The kind of weird thing about going to this is that we went because it was free and because it's like a really amazing feat of engineering. The tricky part is that it's a war machine and being a pacifist just well, makes it a little bit weird to, to visit something like that. To see it up close and to go inside it is really, really amazing as to it was constructed and everything that it contained. These steps. The Navy's no place for tall people. Captain Crunch, you have a taste of the soggies coming in quick. Get them. Deploy extra crunchiness. Stat. Um, I think that's where Admiral Akbar lived. It's a trap! Isn't it? Do you think? Let's go. Oh, up here I think is Captain Crunch's room. I think I see Captain Crunch's room. We just met with someone from the ship, and I'm pretty sure this is where Sergeant Slaughter, he served his time in the military on this ship. No, this is where Sergeant Slaughter was. Hello? I'm at this. Sir? There's this dude that is just staring at me. It's kind of freaking me out. He's back again. Let's see him. I think I just saw Popeye. See Popeye on here? Mar. What? I think I just saw Popeye. 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 Popeye the Sailor Man. We're on this side. 
Who's Popeye? Come on, kids. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Somewhere in my heart, it did make me very sad to be on there and just think of like, of what it was capable of, too. So, Tuesday night had my sixth episode of Teacher Talk Live on YouTube, and it's now a podcast on SoundCloud with my friend Darren. Darren's a teacher out in California, and we had a really great talk. It was super fun. And yeah, it's funny doing these with people because sometimes I feel like I'm talking with like old friends because we just hit it off so easily. And Darren was definitely one of those dudes. I just felt like, you know, we've just been friends for a while and we were just having a conversation. It was cool. Wednesday was largely like just a at home doing work day, getting YouTube stuff done, and Instagram stuff done, and all that fun other stuff done. But Thursday, Thursdays my nieces come over, Jacinda and Jayla, and my wife took them out for the day to go to this place called Smith's Playground. Yet another airplane. Smith's Playground is in Fairmount Park in Philadelphia, and Fairmount Park is, I think, the largest inner city park in the country. It's just a cool place because, one, it's free, and two, it's really old. My grandmother says that she used to hang out there when she was a kid and that her friend's dad actually ran part of the playground, the house part. So it was a family named the Smiths. They left their play, they left their house to become the largest playhouse in Philadelphia and they built this magnificent playground behind it that has a giant wooden sliding board that's my grandmother who's in her 80s used to go to when she was a kid and now my kids are doing it in 2017 and i just think that that's amazing the kids went it was mud day so they got to get muddy they got to do all kinds of stuff From, from what I'm told, it was great. My wife even vlogged a little bit while she was there. Well, I'm gonna try and kind of sort of vlog. I'm not really a very good vlogger. Uh, it's not my thing. I don't really love being on camera, but CJ is home doing videos and editing and YouTube work, and so I decided to take all these kids. We watch my nieces on Thursdays and bring them to Smithfield playground in Pennsylvania. It's really fun. It's totally free. There's tons of stuff for the kids to do. Um, yeah, and so we thought we'd bring you guys along and show you a bit of what's uh, what it's like here. Enjoy! <laughs> Friday was a not so single dad day. Not so single dad days are when my wife has to work and then I'm home alone with the kids. And there goes another airplane. The good part about planes going over my house is every single time I fly into Philadelphia International Airport, I fly by my house and I can see it. The bad part is every three minutes an airplane goes over my house. Where were we? Oh yeah, 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 not so single dad day. Not so single dad days just give me that like really great time with my kids where it's just us home alone. We played in the hose out front and the kids made a mess, cleaned all the dirt out of the cracks. live in the city there's no pool in the backyard just the hose or a fire hydrant but I don't think I have one of those on my block every time we do this it really just brings me back because I just think of the kids doing this when they were much smaller than that and that it's like the Fresh Prince said actually he didn't say anything about this I thought he did but I was wrong and then Saturday we went to the farmers market there's a place around the corner from us that has a farmers market that happens every single Saturday and it's great because you get to buy produce from like local growers or from local farms you can get meat there and bread and honey and they have these weird wool llamas that you could that you could purchase it's also a really great place to run into people we run into friends there all the time and it makes it just like a really nice place to be able to check in with people every week and they also have kettle corn and apple slater donuts. And I mean, that's just an added bonus because that's what you want for breakfast. 
Then we came home with all of our new plants and we planted them. Something my students never believe about me is that I actually love gardening. It is my thing that if I'm uh, stressed out or if I had a long day, I'll go into my backyard, my tiny little backyard, and I will garden it. And I love, I love to tend those plants, take care of them, make sure that they're healthy. My favorite scene in The Karate Kid was not the ending, not when Ralph Macchio beat Johnny. It was always that scene when Ralph Macchio, the Karate Kid, walks into Mr. Miyagi's backyard for the first time and sees that oasis of a garden. Wow, this is beautiful. Hey, Mr. Miyagi, this is great, man. You got real fish in there. And I always have wanted one of those, and that's what I try to create in my backyard on my limited means and limited space. Tonight, we haven't done this yet, but we're going next. I'm going to uh, my man Akil's graduation party. Akil was in one of the student spotlights several weeks ago, and his family's having a graduation party for him and a barbecue. Me and the family got invited. We're gonna go up, check it out, see what's going on. I'll play some of that right now so you can see what it looked like. I fly away. It's relationships over content every single time. We got a lot coming up this week, and then there's days when I have no idea what's coming up this week. We'll see what happens. Will it be legendary? Will it be amazing? Will it be earth shattering? I don't know. It might just be a regular week. We can try and make it as awesome as we can, though, because, you know, why not? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Yeah.